Back to the Ninja Kitchen, and we've got a brand new item for you tonight. This is one you've never seen before. The Ninja Foodie Power Mixer System Blender and Hand Mixer with Dough Hooks. Yes, it's a hand mixer. It's also an immersion blender. It's going to be dough hooks. It's also work blades, whatever you need. And it's the power of the Ninja. Speeds that will help you ramp up depending on the thickness of what it is you're mixing. Immersion blenders that will make immediate soup, cauliflower mash, or whatever you love. This is what it's all about. Now, ordinarily, this is nearly $120 at retail. We've got it tonight at nearly $50 less. Less. What would you do with an extra 50 bucks tonight? I'd probably go out and buy gas. <laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> or head to the grocery store or whatever. This is Jessica Hart, our Ninja <laughs> Foodie team member. It's wonderful to have you it's back. It's so good to be here, David. Jess is also a busy wife and mom of three girls at home. The oldest is going to be 11 next I week. I can't believe it. I can't it. believe my girl is going to be 11. Mm -hmm. Zara is going to be 11, the oldest. All right, so. We're talking about a, a hand mixer and an immersion blender that literally does it all. It really does. I'm so excited about this one because it's a two-in-one multi-feature. I remember when I got my first immersion blender and I had to buy a separate hand mixer, not with Ninja. We make it so smart so that you have it's all one it purchase. all. Of course. And you just line up the arrows and pop it into place, but I've got the immersion blender here ready to go. You just hit that power button. And what do you want? And you, this is tomato soup. So you, and the goal, so you don't wear it, is to keep it below the level of the liquid, right? Yes, and we've got the pan guard on there too. So no scratching. So no scratching of your pan, and we're making a delicious tomato soup. I remember years ago I was making a sweet potato soup, and I had to transfer it away from the pot after I baked the sweet potatoes and then puree it and Your then bring it back to the pot. Now you can just do it all right here in the pot, creating that delicious, creamy tomato soup. It's breaking through all of the tomatoes and the other ingredients in there. And it's 750 watts of power. Mm. Variable speed technology and just making the most delicious soup Restaurant For, quality soup, yes, right? Always. You can make it as velvety smooth as you like or chunky as you want. Mm -hmm. And while you're finishing up that soup, let me show you what it is you're choosing from tonight and what we have for you. Now, we have color choices, so you choose the color that works best for you. This is my favorite place to sit on in the kitchen. So there I am, sitting right on the sink. Um, this is the blue, black, white, and red. Those are the color choices. Then you get your wire whip, your beater blades or work blades, here are your dough hooks, and then here is the bell for the immersion blender. Now, in addition to the housing, you're also going to get this container that allows you to prep ahead and store it in the fridge. And we give you a recipe guy, a recipe book along with an operational guide. All this coming together for you at a really fantastic price. Ordinarily at retail, just this pack up is nearly 120 bucks. Yeah. Tonight we're gonna save you. 50. Well, it's 49.99. <laughs> One penny shy of 50 bucks. There you go. <laughs> what are you going to do with an extra $50 tonight? I think all of us could uh, could benefit from an extra 50 in cash oh, in our pocket, yes. right? Come on now. So this is what it's all about. Everybody is looking for a better, what Mark Charles likes to say, a better mousetrap, right? Yeah, exactly. And this is it. This is really two appliances in one. This is two appliances in one. And you can see there, you just push the black button and you can remove the this. immersion piece. And in a moment, I will lock in the hand mixer portion. Okay. Um, but I would like to just ladle out a little bit of this soup. And I love a creamy tomato bisque. Mm. With a few chunks of tomato inside yes. and that crusty Gives bread. Gives you or the croutons. texture. I made this once um, last year for my friend Aaron, and it's just such a delicious recipe. You can kind of just smell the tomatoes. Now, what's smell your favorite? Are you finished ladling? One more? Yeah, one more. One and then, more, and then we're going to top you, David. it. Now, you could do these cheesy croutons, or you could make little grilled cheese sandwich croutons. I did this in my first cookbook. Made a beautiful, creamy tomato soup, and then took a grilled cheese sandwich and cut it into small. Squares. Oh, that's so, so cute and so delicious. So easy, right? Because mm -hmm. you're going to take the grilled cheese and dip it in the tomato soup anyway. I right? do, yeah. So this is perfect. And you've got a lovely homemade restaurant quality soup that you made with your ninja. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. All right, what are you making here? Okay, so I'm just going to lock the hand mixer piece into place. And of course, you match these up and pop those into place. These are your beater blades. And we're going to do some chocolate mousse here. So I just got to get that beater locked in. Of course, you click the on button, and thank you, David. And tell me, uh, uh, now? 
Yeah, go ahead. Okay, and tell me when. I think we'll try to do about half of it, and then we might need to put a little bit more in there depending on the consistency. Just a little yeah. Less, okay. There we go. Stop. Okay. And you can see those blades go to work. So if you want to toggle up a little bit, you can go faster, which I'd like to do. You can take it all the way up to five. Right now we're on setting number two. If you want, don't want to wear it or mm -hmm. wallpaper the walls with it. <laughs> so you can make all of the things that you're making. Now, one with... thing that you'll have to do here is yep. probably scrape. So we'll scrape our dry thank ingredients you, thank around you. the edges. There we are. You See, know, I, cooking's a team sport. It really is. You know, I often ask my husband, Sean, for help um, and say, hey, can you hold that bowl for me or can you do this? And, and if you want to tilt that to the side, it can always be nice, too, because then it's a little deeper on one side and then you've got a little yeah. more leverage, right? Do a little bit of that. Look at that. And so we're creating really lovely. that delicious chocolate As you're chocolate working on mousse. the chocolate mousse, mm -hmm. to go on top of the beautiful fruit compote. Oh, how nice, And maybe David. topped with the whipped topping. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. This is going to come together at a really marvelous value story and a color story. Now, you're going to be able to enjoy the blue. We also have the black, and the black is very popular, so don't wait on that black. Most limited is white, with only about 450 remaining in the white, and then finally the red, our favorite foodie color. You're also getting your wire whip, your work beaters, your dough hooks, your bell immersion blender attachment, bell blade, and then you also get a make-ahead container complete with a storage lid and your recipe book and instructional manual. All this coming together for you at a great sale price. Ordinarily at retail, this is nearly 120 bucks. We are $50 less. Would you like to save 50 bucks tonight? I would. Anytime someone's gonna give me 50 bucks cash, I'm like, I'm first in line with my hand out, right? Come on now. <laughs> so everybody is all about more for less money. Now, usually you pay more money and you get less. You don't always pay for, you don't always get what you pay for, but you always pay for what you get, right? Yeah. But this is going to be fantastic. And on top of this fruit compote yes. goes your beautiful Let's whipped chocolate put mousse that, chocolate that is mousse. whipped with lots of air, right? It really is light and fluffy. We've got all of that smart torque technology breaking through the ingredients, creating the that light and fluff. You know, I have to tell you something about chocolate mousse. I will scour menus, and if the chocolate mousse is on there, we're going to that restaurant. Thank you. You know, but knowing ding, ding, we have a winner. <laughs> knowing that I can do that in mere minutes and be able to serve it for a nice treat. At at night you with also my make husband. it dairy free for your for your mm -hmm. daughter who can't yep. do dairy, right? Yes, sure can. And then if we wanted whipped topping with this, oh, you can use the wire whip for that, right? Yes, we can. So we're going to put a little bit of powdered sugar. This is that three cup container that comes along with the hand mixer and immersion blender. About how much powdered sugar are you putting? You know, I'm not going to do Double too much. Yeah, right? just a little bit there. Because we don't want it to be too sweet. No, you don't want it too sweet. And is it true that you would want to make your ingredients as cold as possible? If we, that will make them whip up much faster. Can I put yep. this wire whip in the freezer too? Oh. Make it cold. I haven't tried that, but that's a good idea. It would be that way a cold uh, mixing um, attachment goes into the cold cream mm, and the powdered smart. sugar. And you so keep this going on a high speed until it changes consistency, right? Yes, and you'll see it kind of get those peaks. I love making so thicker. Yes, I love making my own whipped cream. I um I wanted to make some the other night and I didn't have any heavy cream and Ooh. I was disappointed. What if you're making your own buttermilk ranch dressing with fresh dill? Uh, oh, have you done this? You could <gasps> with this, couldn't you? You sure In that could. container it's got a pour spout too. Yes. What if you were make oh there are, the possibilities are what endless. What if you had those Corky's chicken tenders and a little homemade buttermilk ranch? Oh, dip it in. that sounds How really you doing? good. How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> Fantastic. So, so good. But yes, we're just going to whip the cream here. We give you that whisk. We have the hand mixer. We have the immersion blender. We have everything packed in. We have the dough hooks all packed into one. So it's giving you everything that you need. And we should start to see those peaks forming, but you can see how fast we're on our top speed here. Yeah. We have 750 watts of power, smart torque technology. And this is um, in the same machine that mm -hmm. was the immersion blender a moment ago. Yes, you just Snap pop it, it into place. And what's really nice, David, is because of how small it is, you can put it into a drawer. You know, I used to kind of throw it's my, up here there. it comes. Um, I used to throw my hand mixer and it needed a space in the cabinet. I had to put it down there so and it was. Gear down. Oh, 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 yep, gear yep. Down. Thank you. I'm talking and about then all the. Yep. Okay. Pull your mixing blade up and out and we'll see some peaks. Okay. How you doing, peaks? There we go. There they are. 
Isn't that pretty? Let me just have a little taste. Just make a sure little it's taste. My job is to taste test. Yes. To let everyone else know that it's safe, and it is. So you're good. <laughs> Thank you, David, for making sure. It's my job. <laughs> so this is fantastic. Don't miss out on this great machine. It's two appliances in one, thanks to the geniuses at Ninja. Always, yes. It's an immersion blender. It's a hand mixer. It's all of those things. Now, this is a fun little demonstration. This shows how much power we're getting here. And we know Ninja for quality, innovation, power, and this has it all here. So this, this is gonna show what's happening inside your tomato soup. Yes, exactly. So that 750 watts of power, the smart torque technology breaking through Ooh, every ingredient. The water spout. And we do, it's almost like a little tornado inside of there, but you just know how much power is behind Ninja, and now we're able to show you. Oh my gracious. And you'll see that's it. powerful. You can see it there. Look that at ooh. that. And that's what it looks like when it goes back into the clouds and stops being a water spout or a tornado. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There it's you like have. a science project. It really is. All right, now, <laughs> let's tell you that we have fantastic colors for you. Please don't miss out on your color choice. This is brand spanking new today. We've never featured this on air before. Here's the blue. Very popular is the black. Most limited now is the white with fewer than 400 available. Then I've got it in red. Here's the hand mixer attachment, the bell blade, that wonderful container we did the, mil the whip topping in, as well as your storage lid. Recipe booklet and how-to guide all in one. Now, at retail, this same appliance would run you about 120 bucks. We are $50 less. To be exact, we're $49.99. We're a penny away from 50. So we're 50 bucks less and we're ready to ship it if you're ready to order. If you're ready to place an order tonight, we're ready to ship. This can be on its way to you, and it's the kind of appliance you're gonna use year round. That immersion blender, I make a lot of cauliflower mash now. I make oh, it yeah. in place of mashed potatoes because it's low carb, right? But I put lots of butter and garlic and cream up in it. Yeah. And you need a good immersion blender. Mm -hmm. That's gonna work out nicely. If you're making a beautiful fruit sauce, you can hear that power there. Oh, my <laughs> word. That's 750 watts of power. Yes, inside, I can right? feel it actually pulling it down. It's so powerful. And when you um, raise and lower that immersion blender, that's how you get all those berries right down inside yes, and get there them you perfectly go. blended. And this is going to make the most delicious raspberry drizzle on top of lemon Some bars. Some call it a raspberry coulis. Yes, that's very fancy for me, David. I appreciate it. Sounds it sounds French, doesn't it? <laughs> it sure does. I but think I is. think that's good, right Look at there. That. Oh, that smells like heaven. Mm-hmm. This on top of a cheesecake. Uh, um, I have a little bit of trivia for you. I think you probably already know oh. the answer to this question. What is the only fruit that wears its seeds on the outside? It's not raspberry. Strawberry. Strawberry. Yeah. It's the only fruit that call, wears its seeds on the outside. Strawberry. Uh, yes. I can be your phone a friend. <laughs> David, you need fun, a friend? fun uh, fact. Fun facts. I was exactly. on that show with my husband. Were you really? Yes, we were. Oh my heavens, I didn't even know. Yes, I'll tell you the story sometime. I would love to hear it. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this, did you make it to like the chair and everything? Oh yeah. Oh, there's there's you? a whole thing. There's, there's a, a whole thing. Yeah. It was a big wow. Deal. It was a play to pay for your wedding newlywed episode right before we got married. It was like one of the best things of our lives. That's fantastic. Crazy. I had no idea. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. All right. So there is your raspberry sauce on top of your lemon bars. Delish. Yes. So oh, good. that looks so good. But our good. today's special value that you're going to be coming, uh, this coming up during In the Kitchen with David in a few minutes, are these David's cookies. Yes. Now, what if we were to take all these cookies and press them once they thawed a little bit? Yes. Mix them all together and created, oh, I don't know, a Maybe skillet cookie? a cookie skillet. Now, would you use a wire whip or would you no, use dough hooks? No, I have on this? this ready for the quiche that is in front of me well, here. Well, I would probably use dough hooks. And I would use dough hooks, and I don't see them here right now. So why don't I just do. So we'll try to locate some dough yep. hooks. Justin, I'll do that'd be great. The whisk here. I think here. we're almost out of time, but this is fantastic. Now, what do you have inside here? So this is just eggs and cream, and we're going to make our quiche. quiche. A little frittata, a little quiche, and you can you know what take what they call Hakuna frittata? <laughs> no. Eggs with no worry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good joke, but it's one I had. Oh, I'm going to laugh at it. It's not a good joke, but it's, it's all I had. <laughs> it's related, at least. I appreciate yes. it. I uh, really let me, do. Let me step over here and get these dough hooks. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right. And if we were to take the David's cookies, semi-thawed, mm -hmm. and then use the dough hooks on these and mash them all up and then press them into a skillet, you uh, make a great big skillet cookie. That's magical. That is magic. Taking something me? good and making it good. All right. Um, Brian, are we taking a break? We're going to take a little break, 
And then we're going to get ready for In the Kitchen with David. It is so good to see it's you, Jess so Hart. It's so fun, David. Thank you. Nice thank to you. have you back, my friend. Yes.